We've all learned a lot about viruses throughout the pandemic, but maybe I shouldn't say all, because now people are trying to treat and prevent COVID-19 with a medicine meant for killing parasites, usually in large animals. And even the FDA is fed up with y'all now. I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and a tweet from the agency says, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Seriously, y'all, stop it. Known as ivermectin, it actually can be used in humans, but it's not an antiviral drug. You want to use it for uh, archosurfiasis, which is river blindness, which is a huge problem in a lot of uh, parts of the third world and developing nations. Uh, they use it for roundworm and pinworm. It can be used for uh, lice, although it's not commonly used for lice, but it can be. Which means it won't do anything to prevent or cure a virus like COVID. However, the ivermectin that you can buy online or in a store is very different from what you would be prescribed in a doctor's office. The ivermectin that you can get over the counter, like at Tractor Supply, it is comes preloaded in a syringe dosed for a 1,250-pound animal. It's a much larger animal and much more concentrated than what a human would take. Dr. Emily Weaver is a veterinarian and she specifically works with horses. She actually uses ivermectin on a pretty regular basis to treat horses with parasites. The animal products are designed for animals, so the dosing is specific for an animal. And so it'd be very easy to overdose a human on the animal products. Dr. Fred Aleguas is the managing director for the Florida Poison Information Center. He says that a dose of ivermectin in humans is significantly lower than one in a large animal, and it's by a lot. The average dose for like an adult would be somewhere between nine and 15 milligrams. And that's based on, uh, on a dose per kilogram which is very common for a lot of uh, antibiotics, uh, maybe antivirals. Formulations available for vet use uh, come in a concentration of 10 milligrams per one ml. So one ml is a fifth of a teaspoonful. So there's 50 milligrams in a teaspoonful. So you can see how it would be very easy to uh, and unintentionally overdose on it. So not only will ivermectin do absolutely nothing for COVID, you're actually putting your health at a greater risk by potentially taking a dose that's meant for an animal. While most of these situations are happening in Mississippi and Louisiana, Florida, you are not off the hook. Since January of this year, Florida's poison control has seen 65 exposures to ivermectin. And while that doesn't really seem like a high number, it is concerning that nearly half of those exposures were in August. And the age range for exposures in Florida is very wide, from as young as 19 months to 78 years old. Luckily, most of the exposures had minor or no effects, but experts are worried about the trending numbers. If you look at those previous months, we had half a dozen uh, per month. And, you know, you do expect sort of uh, that sort of issue with, with misuse of medications like that. The important thing to keep in mind is that this is calls from the network. But these are uh, calls that people make or their physicians make. And this is definitely underreported. Yes, ivermectin is an FDA-approved drug, but that approval is only for its use in treating certain parasites. But you know what is FDA-approved to treat COVID? Pfizer's vaccine. So seriously, y'all, you're not a horse, you're not a cow. Please stop taking medications meant for them. If you have any other questions you'd like us to look into, you can email me at mjones at 10tampabay.com, or you can find me on Twitter at katiejonestv.